Welcome to my underground training facility. I got a quick little vlog for you guys today, give you an update on the trunk. Um, the reason that we're down here, we're gonna be doing some fiberglass repair work and it needs to be room temperature for the resin to cure. That's why we're in the basement rather than my garage. So in case you missed the last video, we did a test fit on the car. Everything fit pretty well. Had to do a little bit of massaging with my Dremel to get some of the parts to fit. Um, but that's all uh, sorted out now. The last step is just gonna be fixing this crack on the edge of the spoiler. And I'm going to do some fiberglass repair on the inside to reinforce it. And I'm gonna walk you through that process. So let's get started. From the outside, it's barely noticeable. In fact, I'm glad I caught it before getting it painted. It's only a hairline crack, but it affects the integrity of the spoiler section. I can pinch it with my fingers and it sort of buckles in. I'm prepping the outside with some sandpaper. The inside is already raw, unfinished fiberglass, so I should be able to layer more on top without any extra prep. I picked up this fiberglass repair kit from my local auto parts store. Um, I'll link one of these down below in case you happen to have something at your house that needs fixing. Um, but this should have everything that I need to do this job. So this kit that I got actually came with a pretty big piece. I was kind of surprised when I took it out of the box. You practically make another trunk out of this. Um, but it says to cut pieces about an inch larger than the repair area and we're going to be doing two layers So I'm going to hold this up there and we'll cut some pieces to size and we'll start uh, mixing the resin So for the mixture it calls for 10 drops of hardener for every ounce of resin now they were kind enough to provide this little mixing tray but it didn't have any markers on it so what i did is i just measured out two ounces of water from my sink i put a little mark on there so i would know how much to mix up um, now i've worked with fiberglass in the past and just a tip with this is start with a small amount you can easily mix up more if you need it uh, rather than mixing it all together at once you only have about 10 minutes to work with it before it starts to harden so you don't want to mix it all and then have it harden before you can use it all just start small and you can always add more if needed because this hairline crack is so thin it's actually impossible to see from the inside where i'm going to be doing the repair i can kind of approximate where it is based on the outside of the trunk but what I did is I cut these like way bigger than they need to be. That way there's no question that this will cover uh, wherever it is. I should mention this stuff smells like shit, and it's recommended to work in a well ventilated area. According to the box, I have approximately 15 minutes to work with the resin once it's mixed. So I set a timer on my phone to be cognizant of the time. First, I'm brushing a thick coat of resin onto the work area. Now I'm saturating the fiberglass cloth. I tried working with one hand so I could use my clean hand to operate the camera. This stuff is nasty and sticky. It brought back a lot of memories of my 1995 Sunfire from high school. Uh, doing the body repair, that is. I squeezed out all the air bubbles before painting on another thick layer of resin on top of the cloth. In my haste, I forgot to saturate the cloth for the second layer, but there was so much resin in there at this point that it ended up working out anyway. So it says it's going to take two hours to fully cure and harden, so I'm going to let that sit. I'll go have lunch and then we'll come back here and do the other side. I'm mixing up a small amount of resin to fill the crack from the outside. I used the included applicator to help force the resin into the crack. All right, so it's been a couple days now. It ended up being too cold in my basement for this to fully cure. Um, every time I'd check on it, even the next morning, it was still a little bit sticky. So I brought it upstairs. It was sitting on my kitchen table and finally 48 hours after I started this project, it's hard enough for me to sand. And then also I got a brand new, genuine BMW Rondell for the trunk. 
Um, this got like the indentations for it, but it's not drilled. So I'm gonna drill the holes for this, make sure it fits properly and we should be good to go. So I really didn't intend for this to be like a drawn out thing, like a three part series, but it's sort of the classic social media creator dilemma of do you wait until you've got something like truly incredible to post or do you sort of keep people updated along the way? And I think that's what I'm leaning towards more now moving forward. And I think with this project especially, it shows that like not every part that you get is gonna be like perfect, you know, take it a brand new thing out of the box slap it on the car as is and call it a day. Sometimes parts need a little bit of work and a little bit of massaging, if you will. And uh, I think that that adds to the fun of a project and I think it makes the result that much more worth it. I used a coarse sanding block to knock off a lot of the excess resin. Then wet sanded using progressively less abrasive sandpaper. Well, I'm really impressed with how this came out, especially considering that I don't have a ton of experience with fiberglass, but like just rubbing my hand along the surface here, it just feels like one continuous surface. Like if I shut my eyes, I can't even tell like where the repair was or where the crack was. Plus I have the peace of mind knowing that I reinforced the inside as well. So I shouldn't have any issues, you know, with it cracking again. This sh theoretically should be the strongest part of the whole trunk now at this point. So uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. And I'm sure that the paint shop will do their own prep when they go to paint this. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this in white and seeing it on the car finally. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. I promise I'm not gonna drag this out any longer. The next time you see this thing, it will be white and we'll be installing it on the car. Um, I'm gonna link this down below, the fiberglass, just in case anyone needs it. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.